Hi everybody, Marsman here, and I'm here to demonstrate the item sorter overflow problem and uh, fix for that problem. Uh, basically, uh, here is a conventional setup we've got with uh, quite a few uh, chests and hoppers. And uh, for those people that may not know exactly how this all works, let me just run over to uh, a quick little slice that I've got set up here. Uh, basically, that is the item filter. Uh, notice it's facing forward, uh, and uh, that is that way so that items don't directly drop down uh, into the chest, into the hopper below it. Um, basically, this is where you put in the items that you want to program uh, so that they're filtered out and drop down in. Now, when uh, this uh, hopper has 22 items in it, it's just enough strength to go one block coming out of this comparator. When the 23rd item hits that hopper, uh, there is enough strength coming out of the comparator to, to go down to this block, which then powers that repeater, which then turns uh, powers that block and turns off this torch. That allows this hopper to drain items from the filter. And that's basically how an item sorting filter works. Uh, once uh, the item uh, filter returns to 22 items, then the signal strength coming out of the comparator is not strong enough to hit this block, and therefore this repeater is off, this torch is back on, and this hopper is then inhibited and does not drain any more items out of the filter. Now, the problem that happens is, uh, well, there's two different things. Well, there are people that when they go to go ahead and program their item filters, uh, instead of putting an item in one at a time and uh, building up to 22, uh, they will just go ahead and drop an entire stack in. And this causes some problems because the output from the comparator goes so strong that it goes beyond one block. Um, as we can see here, all of this uh, redstone is all tied together. So if it goes beyond a block, you're going to start affecting your neighbors. And I can demonstrate that here. Uh, in, I'm about in the middle of the chain here. So I took out the uh, hoppers uh, underneath so that whatever we stick in the item filter won't go anywhere and we can look at the signal strengths that are coming out of the comparator behind it. So let me go ahead and open that and let's go ahead and we'll put a, an entire stack of oak planks in. Now as you can see, what's happened is not only has this redstone torch turned off, but the redstone torch to either side of this has turned off. Now what you've effectively just done is that if you've had programming in this item filter or that item filter, it, you've just drained it into the, uh, into the system because the torch is off. So basically you've deprogrammed your neighbors uh, while you were trying to get this one set up. Now uh, that's not good situation. That only affected uh, the neighbors to either side. Uh, there's a far worse situation that can happen, uh, and that's an overflow. Let's say this chest completely builds up, and uh, this hopper that normally would be here starts filling up, and then the hopper behind it, which is there, fills up, and then it starts backing up into the item filter itself and starts filling its slots up. So let's simulate that. Let's put a completely overflowed system and back up the item filter so that every slot has 64 items in it. Wow, look what happened. Not only are we affecting the neighbors, we're affecting all kinds of neighbors. Thirteen chests to either side of that overflow are now turned off. The signal strength coming out of that comparator is so strong, it goes for thirteen blocks in both directions. Twenty-six chests uh, and item filters are now destroyed and deprogrammed. Look at the redstone that's lit up. This is a disastrous situation. You will completely and utterly destroy your item sorter if you let even just one chest fill up to the point where it starts uh, filling up the item filter. All of these item filters that are on are going to get uh, sucked down and completely destroy the programming. So this is a disastrous situation uh, that you never, never want to have happen. And uh, this is basically the big problem with the design of this particular uh, type of item sorter. So uh, this is what we don't want to have happen. And uh, here's a very simple fix for this. Uh, over here, I've got a similar system. And again, I've pulled out the, uh, the hoppers on uh, the, this middle chain. And as you'll notice, 
only there's only one redstone torch that's off this one and look at this we've got all slots at 64 not a single neighbor is affected it is completely isolated in this case items going across the pipe on the top will simply just pass right over this and it will go into the overflow chest uh, the miscellaneous chest and nobody is affected so this is complete protection against overflow um, if you wanted to you could even uh, program your filter by dropping a stack in it's not going to affect your neighbors so how do we achieve this okay well again this is the conventional system um, we've got this uh, redstone torch underneath this hopper and this comparator is behind the item filter and goes down loops through that's basically how that works now this is the modified system okay notice that the first difference you probably notice is that the redstone torch is not directly under this hopper it's under this block but because the redstone torch is powering this block and this block is adjacent to this hopper it does exactly the same thing so basically we start off with uh, the redstone torches being back one row as compared to that now the easiest way to build this build a big plus build a big plus sign and uh, basically underneath this edge uh, put your redstone torches um, and your item filter and your hopper underneath it go right off this edge your comparators sit right there let's go ahead and get rid of that redstone um, and then your repeaters go under this side of the plus okay now let's build the rest of the system uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to use a series of pistons and uh, arrangements to isolate each individual cell from affecting the neighbor so in this case what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to put a block right there and let's go ahead and put a block there and we do this every other block all the way down the row where these blocks are behind the repeaters go ahead and dig a hole and what you're going to do is you're going to put a redstone torch in the bottom okay now you can jump in this hole and right where we place those blocks you want to place a sticky piston facing downward let's go ahead and do that okay and now we place a block here and here okay and finally to make this work for the piston we simply just place redstone right there oh, no, let me get rid of that redstone. okay just like that get rid of that too okay so basically how this is going to work is when this comparator gets up to the point where it powers uh, more than one block it will power this block which will then activate this piston this piston will extend and this block will now be directly on top of this redstone torch thus that block will be powered therefore it will power the repeater and therefore turn off this redstone torch which again unpowers this block and allows this repeater I'm sorry this hopper to pull items from the item filter so how do we do the other side well that's just as easy we basically go ahead and we put a block there and a block there and we just take our redstone and we place it here and here now you'll notice that we have redstone interconnecting we don't want this so the very simple fix for that is to take a block and place it right here on top of the redstone I get out of the way there we go and right there and notice now that the redstone is now isolated this one is going to the piston doesn't have any any interaction with its neighbor over here this redstone this block will get powered by the comparator which will power this powering that powering the repeater and turning off the torch here's the piston system again the redstone coming across the top will extend that piston downward putting this block on top of that uh, redstone torch powering that repeater turning off the redstone torch up here and here's another situation uh, with a normal setup this comparator powering this block which will then power that redstone and when strong enough will power this redstone powering that repeater turning off that torch 
So basically that's how you do it. You just basically stagger back and forth between a piston setup and a regular setup, placing a block here to uh, isolate the redstone circuits between each one. And that com and this is what it looks like. Here's the, uh, the piston extended from our one item filter that has all those items in it. And there's the redstone torch underneath. And as you can see, just that one redstone torch is out. And so that is the fix for an item sorter to pre completely prevent overflow protection, to uh, uh, prevent any problems with uh, when you're programming the filter. Uh, very simple fix. Little bit more material, but uh, it's pretty easy. Again, if you try, if you've got an existing system, just go ahead and retrofit it. Start off with this plus pattern, and then just add your blocks as shown here. And that's how you can retrofit an existing system to uh, use this new uh, piston method to isolate all the different cells. So that's it. Uh, Mars Man here, and we're about out of daylight, and we're about out of time. Hopefully that was helpful to you, and uh, uh, if you have any questions, by all means, leave a comment. Thanks now. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.